my name is Sarah Cicchetti, and I am the Director of Product Strategy for Beyond Identity. And today we're going to talk about uh, OpenID Connect and SAML. You might hear it called OIDC and SAML. Both of these are forms of identity federation. Uh, you can't use them together. You have to pick one or the other. And uh, the reason we have identity federation is so that you don't have to create a new account everywhere you go. And this is especially important in a work environment where you don't want employees with hundreds of accounts all over the internet, right? You wanna have one identity provider who provides your login credentials and security for all of the applications that your users use. And there are two ways to do that. So the first is called SAML. Uh, SAML stands for Security Assertion Markup Language. Uh, so just like HTML, you might've heard of hypertext uh, markup language, which is a way to uh, create web pages with XML. Uh, this is a way to create identity information with XML. SAML is older than OpenID Connect. And so uh, the XML that it uses is not as concise, uh, but it is very widely supported. So uh, a lot of academia uses SAML, a lot of uh, financial institutions still use SAML today. And so uh, it's a very good choice if you're looking for something that has broad support for a wide range of uh, applications and businesses. The security in SAML is backed by certs, uh, cert certificates, which means that you have to do uh, manual certificate management on your uh, application or your environment. And uh, that can be dangerous. Uh, some certificates last 10 years. And all of a sudden your system will go down and you will realize that, oh my God, someone implemented SAML 10 years ago. And now we have to go find that certificate and we have to rotate it and figure out how that works. So it's uh, a little bit dangerous. A more modern way to do identity federation today is to use OpenID Connect. So OpenID Connect, rather than using uh, that really verbose XML way to, to talk about identities, uses a more concise way. Uh, called JSON Web Tokens. We abbreviate that JWT and we pronounce it JWT just to make it easier because JWT is a lot of syllables, uh, even more syllables than JSON Web Token. Uh, so a JWT is uh, just a JSON object and it just talks about what the identity uh, is, what kind of claims you have about the identity and uh, has a signature on it that is signed, rather than being signed by a certificate, it's signed by a JSON Web Key. And so that key is automatically rotated in most libraries. Um, it usually has a, a much shorter rotation time than 10 years. Uh, so uh, in most products and most libraries, you'll see that automatic rotation happening, which will make it a little bit easier for you to manage. And additionally, because OpenID Connect was developed later than SAML, uh, it is more mobile and API friendly, whereas SAML is more just geared toward web applications. Uh, so it's much easier to develop in a mobile or an API infrastructure with OpenID Connect. If you want to switch, and we have had many customers at Beyond Identity who have switched from SAML to OpenID Connect, um, there are easy ways to do it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is take an inventory of all the applications that your current employees use. And uh, you can do that. You're, you should be able to go into your IDP logs or your IDP settings and see what applications are configured. And then make sure that whatever identity provider you're using provides the same security measures in their OpenID Connect implementation that you were expecting to have in SAML so that you're not reducing your security posture. After that, you implement OpenID Connect in parallel with SAML. So you'll have them both running at once. You can test them. You can make sure A, that it's working and B, that it's secure um, and meets all of the security requirements that your SAML met. And then uh, once you're done with your testing, you feel confident, you can decommission the SAML altogether and just get running on OpenID Connect. Um, if you'd like help doing this, uh, check out the descriptions for this video. We can show you a demo of uh, how we do it for customers and beyond identity. Uh, we also have a, a general blog post that we'll add a link to that has more information about OpenID Connect, SAML, the differences between them and how to switch from one to the other. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe the channel if you want to hear more about identity standards um, and how to accomplish uh, pragmatic identity and access management work day to day. Uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.